What is going on guys? So I just kind of wanted to make this little video to let you guys know that um, I've been working on things Yeah, like I, I I've been I've been interested in the server lately I've you know, I made a video a little while ago talking about how I had lost interest in the server and you know I was trying to find it again and, and duo Iron Man has definitely helped uh, So for people wondering duo Iron Man series is gonna happen um, We've already made our accounts and uh, let me show you my clips uh, You can see we got a uh, fair few clips right now so it's going pretty well uh, in terms of names. I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna. I I enjoy the fact that no one like knows it's me. It really it really is interesting, and I'm sure uh, some people probably have some ideas. I know that there was a huge conversation last night about um, people thinking that these two dudes were John and myself, and maybe they were, maybe they, you know, maybe they're not. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's uh, been pretty interesting so until the first episode is released I'm definitely just gonna keep my names concealed but we have been doing that uh, we have taken a step back on the uh, from scratch series but as you can see we do have a lot of footage and uh, we're not gonna completely give up on that we just think that the dual Ironman has uh, a more interesting uh, it's just more interesting right now especially since it's you know just released it's, there's a lot of hype for it and whatnot so um, I am working on an update this video is not gonna be on the update I'm still working on it uh, doing a, a couple of uh, changes to the event. The event is, it just kind of feels underwhelming right now, and uh, we want to do a couple changes, so uh, I'll talk about that in a little bit, but uh, the next real big thing of content is Redwood uh, Shortbow. Uh, so Redwood Shortbow is essentially a tier 70 bow that you can get from cutting Redwoods. I think you have a 1 in 100 chance, uh, and it is going to be considered around tier 70. I'm still messing with it, so this isn't the final, you know. This isn't what you can expect. It's not going to compete with um, Twisted Bow. Twisted Bow should still beat it. Blowpipe will probably beat it. It could probably... It wouldn't be too bad compared to Armadale Crossbow, but I imagine Armadale Crossbow with, with good bolts would be better. But yeah, it's more so around the Carol's Crossbow, the Crystal Bow, uh, Magic Shirt Bow. It's around that range. So uh, it's just a kind of a nice cheap weapon you can get. Should bring an interesting aspect to the server. It'll definitely be mostly used for PKing. Um, so that's it in terms of like unique content. There's also a lot of fixes right here. You can tell uh, you can now buy blood barrage, uh, blood barrage packs. Um, just some couple quality of life things right here. This one right here is proof that I'm pay I'm playing as an Iron Man. I, I I've never really had an Iron Man. I had the Ultimate Iron Man, but I didn't use the shops as much as a normal Iron Man would. And uh, yeah, not being able to use the general store is annoying because they're, the stores are are pretty much the exact same, but one of them is at home, like right when you teleport. You know, let me just show you the difference. I don't know. I don't know if other people care about this, but I know that playing the duo Iron Man myself uh, with John and whatnot, this is definitely uh, become an issue. Normally, you would teleport through that, though, which is... but uh, So right here, General Store, you know, it has the exact same things as the other one. But if you're an Iron Man, you got to go all the way over here. I got a ton of stuff up, so just uh, apologize for the lag. And then you got to talk to him, and half the time you accidentally get the armor, and... Then you have to click which store you want, and like if you wanted, um, let's say, an epic, uh, like a, a magic oyster, or an ecumenical key, not in the shop, it's in the other one. So, yeah, uh, just giving them that that access really doesn't help them that much. There's nothing crazy in the shop. It's more so just about convenience. If I want to come over here and get a key real quick, I can, or a uh, magic oyster, and I think that's just little things like that's gonna help out a lot. Uh, so we did update the presents a bit. Let me sh uh, open up a couple. Um, by the time you're Oh, right, I have too much money. By the time you're watching this video, the update is probably not out. If you're watching it later on, then obviously it will be. But if you're watching it the first day, then it won't be. So, uh, if you have any suggestions for things you want in this chest or any things you think that could improve it, let me know. Let me uh, find the ID real quick. Alright, we've got some boxes. Let's open these bad boys up. So, you can still get these. Uh, the main thing I wanted to do was sort of change the chances. I, I felt like since you only get a handful of these, like, if you really grind this event out, um, you could probably get uh, maybe one to two an hour, and from what I've seen, I've seen I've seen people still do the event, even though it's, it, like I said, it does need some improvements, which I've already done, uh, and I'll talk about those later on, but, um, yeah, so I, I, I just felt like you don't, you don't get that many of them, so the, the chances of rare items like the looting bag should be a little bit better. I also added in a couple new items. Uh, I wanted to do more of these, I just couldn't think of any. So if you think of any good ones, let me know. You'll see a couple of the ones I did. You get membership now, Mahogany Chest 6. I believe you can get the some of the higher tier ones. Uh, I don't think I added Oak or anything like that. 
nice. Uh, this is, I think, 40 mil or something like that. Or if you cut it, it's even more. Uh, people are wondering about the uh, um, the so last one. I thought the the rings and whatnot. They uh, they do disassemble for Uber components, so that's the main thing. And then also, obviously, if you want to sell them, you can. Uh, when it, when you're making these boxes, you just after a while you're gonna see the same things, and I like to mix it up. And I can guarantee you, you haven't seen these. I remember one person got it as a drop, and everyone was like, "What?" <laughs> like no one even knew it was a thing. Nice little cash bag, jar of darkness. You can get jar of sand as well. So vote points, or I believe this is Slayer points. Uh, I did make these stack, but which is nice. Also, some people were confused that this is the present. Apparently, on old school. You uh, you like wear this? It's like a big box or something. You could have it on your arms or whatnot. I didn't know that, <laughs> so I obviously didn't use it for that. It's a it's like a gift. It's like a you know, yeah, it's a box. Ooh, a raid box. I don't know. Bond. So yeah, I'm just adding a couple more things. Uh, nothing too crazy, but the the main update was adjusting the rates. So you're more likely to get decent items. So if you have any, any thoughts on that, sh shoot them at me because. I might actually have time to do that. I'm not going to give any more dates on releases now just because it feels like I've I've been letting people down. And when you have a date, there's just a lot more pressure. Now we're just kind of relaxing. We're chilling. We're just coding things um, that, you know, when we can think of them. So, yeah. Uh, I think it's a lot better that way. That's the way we, f we ran the server originally. We didn't have any strict deadlines. It was just, you know, let's do an update today. And, you know, it's been a while since we've done one. I think that that worked out well for us early on. And we need to get back to that. I think when we started setting dates, it was really when we like set the date of invention that everything started going downwards. But yeah, we're we're you know we're we're st we're we're still doing it. You know, we're still we're still here. Um, in terms of the event changes, uh, the event takes around sixty minutes. Uh, a lot less if you're paying attention. You can probably do it in 55, 50, 45. Um, and if you DC during it, you 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 obviously can't. You know, finish. You can't. You can't get the big prize at the end. So what we're trying to do is make it a lot smaller. So now the waves are a lot smaller. Uh, if you do the event, you'll know that sometimes mobs glitch, like they get stuck in the distance. That's being fixed as well. All the mobs should spawn around you, so you don't have to worry about you know weird glitches where like even though it's there's a walkway, they can't walk through it. So you, when you're blood barraging, it's just all all effed up. Uh, that's changed. The reindeers were changed a little bit. I didn't change them much. I'll actually show you what I did. I uh, just added a couple smaller drops, up to the amounts of snowballs for sure. Added in uh, Ranars, yeah, nothing, nothing crazy, but th th right here the snowballs is probably what you'll notice the difference of, and um, the the chance of a snow globe is a lot better as well. Um, and then I'm doing a lot more changes. Like this is uh, this is basically what I'm starting with for today. I did this all yesterday, and uh, should have some better ones out then. But I'm doing a lot of changes to components and whatnot, trying to, you know, take in your feedback and whatnot. Um, cave Nightshades, for example, will be, I guess this is a, a pro tip for you, I don't know. It's in the shop, so you can just buy it. Uh, cave Nightshades will work for and get organic components. That should be what, probably the new meta, I'm guessing. And then obviously, you can see right here, I'm reducing the amount required. I feel like Garden Pies are only worth it if they're, like, if it's manageable. You know, I spent, like, 10 minutes grinding out components and it only made like 20 pies and that's just not it's just not worth doing it so hopefully this change will, will help those two and again the overload isn't that crazy useful um, it's useful in, in really weird spots so I feel like it being 10,000 is just a little bit too expensive so a lot of this is just based off of feedback um, people don't think I listen or, or you know I, th I think like I do my own thing a lot but I'm always I'm always listening to everybody. Like I said, one of the best things about this dual environment is you know people are a lot more willing to <laughs> to say what's wrong with the server when I'm not online. So it's been interesting to see. And uh, my notes I don't know where my notes are, but I've got a ton of things to to work on right now. So yeah, I'm gonna upload this video now just to let you guys know that even though I haven't had any videos, it's mostly because the From Scratch series we don't want to upload yet, and the dual environment series we don't want to upload yet. So I think I might like make a duplicate version of APUG just to mess around with, because um, obviously I want to keep the from scratch stuff there, but I, I do want to mess around and try, try to get a little bit more content, or maybe bring back the Worth It series because I did enjoy the Worth It and the the reviews on those were always good, so you guys must have enjoyed it as well. But uh, thanks for watching. Service links in the description below. Peace.